In a circle, if the diameter is one meter, then a sixth of the circumference is 0.5236 of a meter, which is exactly the length of the cubit used to build the Great Pyramid. This means the builders of the Great Pyramid certainly knew what a meter was. They used it with pi and the golden number to determine the length of the cubit. But the mysteries don't end there. The anonymous researcher we spoke to earlier had been plotting the ancient sites on a world map. This strip that stretches from Easter Island to Giza is actually part of a 25,000 mile long circle. In reality, of course, there are no long distance connections across light years. There's no possible connection over such a stretch of time would link Easter Island and the Egyptian pyramids. This 100 kilometer wide circle goes through many significant ancient sites across the globe. In Peru, it passes through the Paracas drawing, the Nazca tracks, Olantitambo, Machu Picchu, Cusco, Taxehuman, and the Paratuari pyramids. In Africa, it crosses Mali and the mysterious Dogon lands, where they knew the stars Sirius B and C before any astronomers. Algeria and the Tassili Nijar with its painted Martian god. In Egypt, it goes through the Siwa Oasis and its Zeus Amon temple, and through the Great Pyramid at Giza. Next, it crosses Petra, Ur, where Abraham was born, Persepolis in Iran, Mahenjo-Daro in Pakistan, where the unreadable writing was found that is so close to the writing on Easter Island. Then it crosses sites that have always been known as the homes of the gods, Kachuroho in India, Paye in Burma, Sokotai in Thailand, Angkor Wat and Prahihar in Cambodia. And it ends with the most isolated and mysterious place on earth, Easter Island. There is an astonishing accuracy to this alignment. Although many of these sites date from different times, most were built on the ruins of more ancient sacred sites. At some remote point in the past, someone had built a series of sacred sites on this line, circling the globe. The circle was as long as the equator, but the mystery doesn't end there. If we take this circle as an equator, then its north pole will be located here. And the triangle formed by this point, Nazca and Giza, exactly matches the shape of the Great Pyramid. The distance between Nazca and Giza equals the distance between Teotihuacan and Giza. The same is true of the distance between Angkor Wat and Nazca and between Mahengo Daro and Easter Island. The distance between Easter Island and Giza is 10,000 times the golden number. The distance between Angkor and Giza multiplied by the golden number equals the distance between Giza and Nazca. And the Giza-Nazca distance multiplied by the golden number equals the Nazca-Angkor distance. Thank you.